Hello all. Counselor2.com. That's my website. I'm Mike Logan. It's uh, Friday the 27th and cold and chilly in Rockford, Illinois, and the crocuses have not yet burst forth, so spring's not quite here yet. Uh, I guess it was Groundhog didn't see a shadow. Is that how that works? At any rate, I want to talk a little bit about uh, brain fitness. And the Harvard Business Review in November of 2007 um, wrote a very interesting article that's very telling in regards to what we can do in regards to our own brain fitness. It used to be neuroscientific dogma that we grew a lot of uh, neurons when we were little and then at some point we stopped doing that and began to lose them until essentially if we lived long enough we lost a whole bunch of brain function. Well that's not the truth actually. Uh, the brain generates new neurons throughout the lifespan and those new neurons typically migrate to the area around the hippocampus, which is where memories are laid down if I don't have a lot of stress hormones in my body and uh, adrenaline and cortisol. Okay, so stress reduction is a key piece in the uh, process of encouraging or enhancing uh, neurogenesis, as is good sleep, nutrition, and physical exercise is the most important part. And another thing that I could do to enhance neurogenesis inside of my noggin, the growth of new brain cells and neuroplasticity, which is the reorganization of my uh, synapses based on challenges that I give my brain, the more novel challenge that I can provide for my brain, the longer it stays effective. And that's exciting news because I had a 60-year-old brain uh, that did have some excesses done to it during the 1960s. Uh, days of summer of love and that kind of thing. I was in sophomore college back then. Uh, I didn't go to Haight-Ashbury, but I sure read a lot about it. So what I want to do is lots of things to enhance neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. Given the current economic situation, you know, I might be looking at working well into my 70s. I'm a counselor. Uh, the job is not physically challenging. It can be mentally challenging. But I need to stay on top of my game. So I'm incorporating uh, novel challenges and uh, stress reduction and an excellent diet and lots of exercise into my life. Well, exercise doesn't have to mean that you become a muscle beach guy, okay? Heavy weightlifting, that kind of thing. Creatine, all that. It, for my age, folks, uh, walking is fine if done regularly with a bit of challenge in it. You've got to get the heart rate up. Okay, so for novel challenge for my brain, I've been using four tools. One of the tools that I want to share with you is MindSpark Brain Fitness Pro. We'll call it Brain Fitness Pro for our purposes today. Um, MindSpark Brain Fitness Pro is based on research that indicates that we can increase the amount of brain available to solve problems by increasing our working memory. And if you go to uh, Martin Walker's website, MindSpark Brain Fitness Pro, or you go to my website and look at the information that I put up about this research, you get a clearer explanation of what that means. Uh, and let me just show you what's involved in exercising your brain. Now, Sudoku and crosswords and that kind of thing are games. They don't necessarily exercise the brain. So I, another thing that I want to avoid, of course, as a counselor, I've got a library of books. A novel challenge won't involve my reading another counseling book. It will involve doing something like this, and I'm just going to boot it up, and I'm hoping you can see it. Uh, you see a little square here. I'm going to get challenged auditorily and visually at the same time to remember uh, a square, its location, and the letter that's pronounced along with the presentation of the square. And then there'll be another presentation, and then on the next presentation, at this level of the game, I have to remember if the uh, letter and or the location of the little box are the same. And because of the dual nature of the challenge, it's called dual and back, it is really confusing at first. But once you catch it, it begins to be really fun. It's really quite a, an effective challenge. Uh, it takes about 20 minutes a day for 19 days. The research indicates that there's no upper end to your improvement. 
keep you continue to practice and most of the research that I've read or all the research that I've read it has used a measure of IQ test to uh, track progress but at any rate here's what it looks like K see box and sum M okay now let's see if we've got K and an M P Okay, the visual is the same, and if I had my M. keyboard, I would be doing that. P. Okay. P. Q. Okay, now the next one. K. Oh, no back. Q. Okay, there's an auditory one. I don't have my keyboard, so. G. F. Okay, what I'm going to do is cancel it. I think you get a sense of what's... Uh, what's involved in uh, MindSpark Brain Fitness Pro. Uh, it's part of the work you can do to exercise your brain on a daily basis to encourage neurogenesis. Now, if I've got some amyloid plaques up in here, the more synapses I have firing, the easier it is for my brain to work around those uh, potholes, if you will. Just like you drive around a pothole on the street. Uh, my brain can work even though I may have some Alzheimer's disease plaques. Okay, so I want to make sure that I have a lot of neurons firing in close synchrony when I hear something, when I see something, when I experience touch, taste, or smell. I want my brain functioning very effectively. And this tool is part of what I do. It's one of the four programs I use on a regular basis. So that's it for now. Ask Mike the counselor Mike Logan, Rock, uh, Logan Family Counseling in Rockford, Illinois. Thank you.